poppin' y'all this is Deidre with one shot game man you already know how the motto go you get one shot at life but a lifetime to learn all the game you need to help improve your life you know what I'm saying it just however you want to see it for yourself are you truly happy or not nah? that's gonna determine you know what I'm saying if you're willing to open your mind and receive the knowledge that you may not know it's all about growth you know what I'm saying so before I get into the title of my video, I want to say a big shout out to all my supporters. You guys are definitely great. So look, I've been waiting to make this video since yesterday. But um, like a lot of my research, a lot of the things I look at and pay attention to just to stay relevant with my content and to, you know what I'm saying, being able to resonate with people as a whole is, is the fact that I see a lot of uh, like thread messages on people basically first of all everybody want to be from sacramento now <laughs> you know what i'm saying so i'm seeing a lot of people on threads like oh why y'all ain't popping out why y'all ain't out here i do content creation i do this i do that look you got to understand it like this most of the people that are from Sacramento have been outside for a very long time meaning you know what i'm saying we listen let me tell you something is some people that is going to recognize me just from being somewhere. You know what I'm saying? Being outside, not being in the house. You know what I'm saying? I spent some time in the house, but I was outside for real. You know what I'm saying? Really on the blacktop, really hanging out, really at parties, really functioning with people. You know what I'm saying? Really being outside. So as that is happening and you not truly are having a solid concrete idea on who you are, you're actually forming your idea of who you are through those experiences means it's harder for you to recognize who is, you know what I'm saying, stealing your energy or people that are genuinely for you. So because now we're older, you know what I'm saying? Listen, I I was raised in Sacramento. So listen, if you really say you're from Sacramento for real, you're going to really have to stand on that because most of the time, oftentimes, I probably know you or probably seen you before. You feel me? But it's a whole bunch of people that's all of a sudden acting like they're from Sacramento. But anyway, now that we're older, you know what I'm saying? And it's like we we not we in the house now. And it's not because we don't want to be outside. It's because we're growing and we're evolving into who we were truly meant to be this whole time which means you have to have the ability to apply your wisdom of what you learn from certain scenarios, being outside and, and, and growing in yourself to acknowledge, you know what I'm saying? Who is really for you and who just wants you around due to them trying to, you feel me, siphon off of your energy. It's real. You got to really pay attention and think about that. Like, and, and it's the ability to look at your whole life. I've had people in my life who just wanted me around for a certain occasion. You know what I'm saying? But when it came time to like the real important stuff, I wasn't even in the Rolodex. So it was like, okay, so what was I really there for? And now that you're coming into who you are and you're realizing who you are, it, it's becoming more evident. Oh, okay. So because the growth process takes time, you can't just be outside like that because it, it, it if you haven't grown to a certain point to understand the wisdom, you will let someone basically oh come outside come over here you feel me come chill with me da, 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 da. you know what i'm saying and then what you're not understanding is going on is that you have grew and elevated your energy and they haven't so they're basically taking your elevation of growth and the energy you attract and placing it on themselves as their own so they're thinking that, you know what I'm saying, because of maybe your insecurity or uh, of feeling abandoned or feeling the need of wanting to be wanted, and they come around you, your elevation of energy and growing in who you are is now theirs. You know what I'm saying? So it, it's kind of like, okay, I'm taking your energy, I'm stealing it, and I, we're having everybody around, we're doing all this stuff, and we're getting all this attention, and now I'm thinking that it's mine. But I'm still, excuse my language, doing faggot shit behind the scenes. And you don't know that because you're not realizing that I'm playing on both of our insecurities. You know what I'm saying? But I may just be stronger in a certain area that maybe you haven't. And then what they'll do is they'll basically 
push certain things onto you that they know you're not comfortable with doing listen that all that peer pressure shit is not flying these days that's kind of like out the window i listen if i tell you no and you try to like peer pressure me and finesse me to do something i don't want to do that's like a certain type of dark magic and if i were you i wouldn't fuck with me when it come to that and i'm just being real you know what i'm saying because i am actually using my voice that has been silenced for a long time and i'm telling you look i am not into that i don't want to do that and you keep trying to finesse it you feel me you keep trying to angle it a different way you keep trying to do things that's appealing to me to make me do what you want me to do is a form of black magic you know what i'm saying it's basically like me siphoning your power from you by making you do what i want you to do and 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 really it goes both ways because if you're not learning the lesson in it you can basically do what they want you to do and then deplete yourself and then you're feeling you're feeling a little bit empty when you leave you know what i'm saying but you feel their cup so that means you got to go within and realize what's keeping you attached to that you know what i'm saying knowing deep down inside it's really causing a, a disruption in your soul of who you are you know what i'm saying but it's listen it's very strong magic and it's been being done for a long time if you're feeling something inside yourself and somebody has a influence or a power or you feel me something that maybe you may want in your life they will do what they can to siphon your energy so they can elevate themselves in that and then next thing you know you just you feel me chasing them all the time not realizing your own power and who you are and maybe never even realizing that they're siphoning your power too you feel me because something inside of them can have them being insecure too as well but you won't be able to see that because you're you're feeding into the, what they want you to do instead of having boundaries and standing on who you are you know what i'm saying listen if i i do not prefer to be outside around a bunch of people i don't i'm not showing up at clubs i'm not showing up at the function i'm not showing up at the party you know what i'm saying especially if it, it's it, it's now the point where people want to invite you to stuff after not inviting you to stuff for a long time you got to really think about that so that's why when they say the journey is each individual person's journey on their own it is because you have to take that wisdom from uh from what you went through in life and and apply it to who you are you know what i'm saying people usually oftentimes you know what i'm saying only want to siphon your energy especially if you've done the work you know what i'm saying and you will know by certain traits so so before i get too off to the left it was basically in just trying to get to a point where if if anybody that's been from sacramento they know bro we've been outside we've been everywhere so for the people that are elevating and who they are and they're choosing to stay in it's almost like if you peer pressure me to go outside or you peer pressure me to do this or you peer pressure me to do that it's kind of like what are you getting out of this situation it's a motive behind that you know what i'm saying you're not just doing it just because it's something behind that you know what i'm saying and and as you grow and take the time to grow inside yourself alone you'll be able to pinpoint that what that is exactly you know what i'm saying you got to really think about it long and hard it's it listen it's a long game baby you know what i'm saying and 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 if you're a person that had a, a very vibrant energy but you couldn't see it in yourself but everybody else could and you tend to often be quiet a lot it was easier for people to basically pinpoint your insecurities by just looking at you so now you find yourself doing everything that everybody else was doing just to fit in so when you get to a point where you like no i'm cool i don't want to do that oh well da -da -da, why and, da -da -da, and they finesse you and be seductive and talk to you crazy in a seductive way and then if you you feel me like it's <laughs> it's a crazy game but it's so real you know what i'm saying it's certain things that be like okay like people can finesse you with their words and you got to be able to identify when you being finessed and when it's real and now it's just speaking from experience we're all one no matter how people want to think about it spiritual beings having a human experience you know what i'm saying so oftentimes when people talk to me nice and like damn near finesse my jaws off i have to be able to pinpoint if it's real or if i'm being finessed because of the simple fact i used to do that at one point in time to get what i wanted out of life 
You feel me? So it's kind of like, okay, you got boundaries now. Stand on them boundaries and no, it, it, I, I'm cool. I don't want to do that. I'm not into that. And if a person care about you and is really for you, they'll respect that and leave you alone and let you be. But if they're trying to use some form of magic on you, now would it be them, you know what I'm saying, offering you certain things that is, is a hit to to your mental or your insecurities. It's real. So the process of growing stronger in yourself and taking the time to be alone and recognize who you are is very vital and important because the more you're around certain things that, you know what I'm saying, make you feel a certain type of way, you'll still stay accustomed to them. You'll still act like that's normal and it's not. You know what I'm saying? It, listen, I'm playing a long game, baby. And I know the type of things that like, make me weak in the knees so i gotta kind of uh, make my boundaries stronger so that i can know when i'm being played and when it's real you know what i'm saying that's all it is at the end of the day so for the people that are so eager to get people to come outside and hang out and we're doing that you gotta think oftentimes those same people are the people that have adjusted to the old system which is get people to follow me and and be attracted to me and show me attention by having more by you feel me penetrating their mind with toxic substances we drinking we pulling up everybody's dancing have fun so they don't even realize what's going on until they go home and then that's where the real party is but now they filled their cup up to the max you feel me they didn't felt good and enjoyed themselves their whole time and then when they get home they start to realize damn i ain't really putting in the work for real i'm miserable here so what they do is they have to get more so they host another event so they can fill their cup up more so they can feel good because the, it, it is not the same feeling that they get when they get home it's a truly big difference when the person overall in general feels the same way around people that they do at home and that's a acquire a certain set of knowledge and wisdom and growth inside yourself to be able to feel like that all across the board you know what I'm saying? And it's not oftentimes that people are the same people with people and without people. Usually around people, they're all giddy, giddy, happy, and enjoying themselves. But alone, they're as miserable as fuck. Excuse my language. You know what I'm saying? And that is how you'll be able to tell the difference. Because they're not doing the work needed to acquire the, the things that they're chasing after. Because when you get grounded and you realize who you are, you don't have to chase shit. It'll all come to you. And that's the truth. And people want that so bad that they're willing to, you know what I'm saying, get mad at people for not coming outside. Listen, it's funny how I just see it on social media. You know what I'm saying? But the real ones know what's up. We've been on the blacktop since a youngin. So now it's like because we're in the house, it just means we're elevating and growing inside ourselves. And because we are realizing who we are and the energy we hold, you still not going to catch us outside. I've never been a fan of clubs. You know what I'm saying? So you ain't going to catch me in no club. Oftentimes, I was only there because I had other people that, you know what I'm saying, I was kicking it with that I I wanted to chill with, and so that's why I was there. You know what I'm saying? But me, I've never been a fan. It's too much going on at once, and it's too many things that, you feel me, drinks and all that that can use you to lower your mind frame, and now you didn't, you feel me, I didn't seen too much at the clubs. Let me just say that. You know what I'm saying? So be mindful and pay attention and be aware to the people that have adjusted to that way of living like they don't want to do the work on themselves they're never gonna do the work on themselves because they don't want to and it's too hard for them they just refuse they locked it in the closet the closet has got a padlock on it some chains and they never want to open it so their mind is still focused on you feel me getting the love admiration and attention and glory by acquiring people you feel me to 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 follow me the more I have you know what I'm saying and 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 having certain events and stuff and people show up and that's how I get all the attention all that you feel me that listen that way that mask is shedding and it's finna go in the garbage disposal and tear it up so it's not gonna work anymore you cannot live your life being soulless controlling others because people are taking their power back and realizing who they are and they realize they don't want to be controlled because the people doing the controlling they don't want to be controlled so what makes you think you can control others but it's the magic that has been put on people for so long that insecurities made you truly believe that whatever they had whatever they got going on it was easy for them to let you control that control you you feel me and you played right into their cup 
You know what I'm saying? But this the 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 phase is up, man. People are growing in who they are. And if you don't want to be controlled, what makes you think you can control other people if you don't want to be controlled? You're doing the opposite of it's it, listen, it's crazy. It's weird. And it's just to a point where uh, listen, I I I I I know Sacramento like the back of my hand. There's not nothing you can tell me about where something is, where something ain't, because I know about it. So for the people that I've grown up with or accustomed to or been around or seen, you feel me? It's kind of like we have grew up. So if we're not outside, it's for a reason. You know what I'm saying? But it's, it's mainly like to be mindful and aware of the people that are eagerly wanting you to go outside. You know what I'm saying? I'm not... The peer pressure is not a thing if you have boundaries. If you know who you are. You ain't peer pressuring me to do shit. I'm not doing it. You get up and you do it yourself. If that's something that you into, that's fine. But don't pressure me into doing it. And if you respect me and, and, and are here for me, you would acknowledge that. And you would keep your train moving over there. You feel me? But oftentimes, the people that are growing into who they are, they're realizing that people are really strong and powerful when it comes to making people do what they do so the best thing i can do is just stay away from you because your power is so strong in making people do what you want them to do that even if they try to resist it or say no you have a way of trying to finesse them into doing what you want them to do so the only way i can starve you even trying to ever do that to me is just completely stay out your energy period you feel me? I don't want nothing to do with anything you got going on over there because you're solely in it to control people and you can't even control yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like, listen, <laughs> be mindful and be aware to what's really going on these days because people are powerful more than they know, but they're using it for the wrong reasons. They're not using it to build themselves up. They're using it to control people. And the more people take their power back and realize who they are, those people are becoming visible in darkness, in the light with a flashlight. Like, you can see them clear as day because they, they have this type of, like, stonewalled look when they get around the presence of people that they can't control. It's almost like they're afraid. Yeah, because that mask has fallen off. It no longer is working. You feel me? But when they get comfortable with you or when they feel like they're comfortable with you, they it, it, they just learn you and study you and try to figure out a way to try to control you through some means or another. So you just got to be aware and be mindful because everybody's playing the game. But you got to think about like the people that are doing the work by themselves and they're okay with being alone. They're like they're truly working on who they are, which means the world is coming into a new way. And it is you'll get everything you want the more you control who you are stop trying to control people you know you know what i'm saying i had that bad back in the day that can't nobody tell me no i'm gonna get it anyway da, da, da. you can't make nobody do nothing if they don't want to do it leave them alone and let the people who are for you or on the same train as you come to you you don't have to chase anything you don't have to force anything you feel me that's not real life for real I'm not going to force nothing from nobody. I'm not going to force you to respect me. I'm not going to force you to treat me right. I'm not going to force you to take me out. I'm not going to force you to put me in the forefront with all your other friends. If you never thought about me being there in the forefront, then you don't care. So now, thank you. I get more of an ability to pour into myself. You know what I'm saying? And be me. And truly work on me. And that is why those people are not getting the attention and the glorification that they want because they're soulless as far as in themselves. And then they see the people that's truly who they are getting everything that they want. So their best thing they can do is try to control them and s steal their whole identity so they can acquire things that they never, ever are going to see fit for themselves if they don't want to go in that closet with them skeletons and shut the door and hug your damn skeletons. And realize they made you who you are. People don't want to do that. You know what I'm saying? They just make it easier if they can just steal your energy. <laughs> it's a cold game. Don't get played out here in these streets. You know what I'm saying? It's okay. Don't let nobody make you think that because you're choosing to stay away from people and you isolating. When the time is right, you feel me? Pop out. 
But you feel me? If you're in home alone and you're focusing on yourself and you're doing the work, no matter how hard it is, no matter how much of a struggle it is, so you feel me? It's what's needed. It's what's needed to be done for you to finally figure out who the fuck you are. And you'll get everything you want. And the people who don't want to do the work gonna sit back and be jealous. Or they're going to try to basically copy you and, and think they're going to get the same thing you're going to get, and they're not. So it's going to automatic have a, a, a reflection of maybe, damn, I should be working on myself. They're not copying me. They're not worried about what I'm doing. They're being themselves. So that's the new authenticity these days. You feel me? So that's the new work. That's the new phase of the world. And you'll get more further ahead being yourself than trying to control people or copy people. Because people are going to notice right off the bat that you're a soulless individual who doesn't want to work on your own self but steal from others. You cannot steal somebody's identity and get everything that they're getting in life. It's just not going to work like that. You know what I'm saying? So be careful. Watch out. And be mindful of the people that always are trying to encourage you to go out. If I said no, it means no. Leave me alone and don't call me back again trying to convince me to go. It's a form of magic. They're trying to control you in some way so that they can siphon off your energy. So, so be careful. And they're everywhere. And majority of them are in the public places because they siphon off of other people's energy. That's the only way that they can get ahead. They need it. It's like a fix for them. It's like the worst possible drug ever. Because if they don't get that type of energy from other people, their soullessness starts to show. And they start to look ugly. And they have to constantly have a certain appearance just for people to look at them a certain way. You feel me? Because their soul is dead. And if it can't feed off of others, it, it's, you can see it on them, on the outside. So just watch and pay attention. You feel me? Listen, the people who are really dedicated on being themselves, they're growing behind the scenes. They don't need to be around people. It's dangerous being around people. You know what I'm saying? And they know that. So just, you feel me? Watch out and pay attention because people are trying to, you feel me? They're, they're, they're needing supply. So they're encouraging you to be in public places because they recognize your energy and they need some of it. So don't let them get it. If you don't know what it is, I just told you. Please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe, man.